Uh, I was just going to do a recording of some of my artwork. Um, right now, it's pretty much packed in here, but I don't got much room. wish I could try to zoom this out. Hopefully it works. Um, there's a couple of my paintings here. This one. This is my cool painting. I really like this one. It was for somebody, but I got in trouble, so I not for them anymore. <laughs> got it back. Um... This is one of my paintings I did. These are all um, three, I think they're both three feet by three feet. These are pretty big canvases. So whenever somebody's like, oh, I want a canvas, I try to tell them that um, I got really good canvases. These are good canvases. They're nice and thick. I mean, they're really good canvases. Um, so they won't bow on you. I've got hangers on them for them. Uh, here's another one that I did a while back. Pretty cool. It's a pretty large canvas. One of my favorites. And I don't have room. I'm maxed out, so I can't even like hang out my stuff. I, I would love to. Hang, I would love to hang it up. I put this over here because I didn't want uh, that to get behind my my art and ink it through some way in on that canvas. So that's my other big one I did. That's another really large canvas. So that's one of my other ones I did back in the day. Here's my other one I had in my living room which I had another very large canvas. These are the two. I did three really large canvases and that's one of them. So when this is uh, when this one's up, it's, it's pretty big and it's pretty wild. I'm gonna do another one pretty soon. I think I'm gonna do another one like that. It's gotta be, I think it's three feet by four feet. I can't even get in my camera, but yeah, it's one of my favorite ones I did, so. But I took that down from my other new can painting I put up, so that's over there, so the same size. This is glass glass coated, so that's pretty nice. Looks really nice on it. Um these are my paints. T T ruler. Um got a lot of pictures in there. Um Well, I guess I'll just go through it. Um I got another one over here. Trying to squeeze through here. I got so much shit back here. That's the one I just did before. Um, it's a double canvas. It's pretty nice. Um, thick canvases. So these canvases aren't cheap. I mean, anything that's anything that you want um, premium quality, a really good quality, they're gonna have to be really thick canvases. Uh, if you go to uh, art gallery, they're gonna be that thick, pretty much. So you're not going to see really thin canvases. I'm going to show you why that you don't want thin canvases, unfortunately. Um, when I got back from Costa Rica, I was dead broke. So um, I wanted to paint a picture for my my nephew. That's Michael's, my brother Michael's son. He loves um, Spider-Man. When I go down, uh, this is for him. I painted that for him immediately when I got back. I started working on it. Um, it's a fairly large canvas. It's really big, but I did that for him. Um, so when I go back down, that's for him. My sons love that picture. Um, I mean, there's a door right there, so I can kind of justify size. And over here, this is my um, Avrian's one of Avrian's favorites. It's Doc Doctor Octopus against. Spider-Man. One of my favorites. It's actually pretty big. There's a door right there. So, it's one of my favorites I did. Avery really likes Dr. Octopus. I mean, it's his favorite villain because I made it his favorite villain. I actually got some, uh, back there behind the door is my stash of, uh, toys and everything I got for Christmas and, uh, Dr. Octopus is in there as a figure. Tell me where you're going to find that. You're going to be like, holy cow. Um, here's one of my other paintings. This probably has to be one of my favorite paintings. This has to be on my top top two. The texture on this painting, like a lot of my paintings I do, the textures are um, really nice. So people don't understand like textures when they don't see them up close and they don't see them in person. They just see the picture as a whole. Um, the painting is really nice. I got an owl flying away. I got the uh, roots kind of bleeding through. It's pretty nice. I got the sun kind of coming through there. 
it's kind of like a futuristic sort of odd sort of different planet sort of looking theme I did and I had the tree kind of I don't know I like the the tree sort of like bending out like he's kind of got a personality like it's it's a chill tree kind of everything's bending, bending out over here da 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 it's got grass over there so when you look at my paintings oh you can see there's actually a little bit of texture it's not smooth, it's all pretty rough. Everything is rough because I dabbed everything. So all the paint behind there is all dabbed. Everything is dabbed. So when you look at it up close, you're like, holy, well, far away, you're just like, oh, it's just a regular painting. When you get close, you actually see some texture. It uh, gives it some some depth. It really gives the, the painting some real bite. I like how I mean the branches go out, the grass is bleeding through, everything is bleeding, everything is going. And I love the owl. Nice painting. I will never get rid of this painting. It's my favorite painting. Probably one of my most favorite paintings I ever did. Here's one of my other paintings. This one, um, I gotta say, I give, I really like the birds. I really perfected the birds in a silhouette. I mean, everything I do is freehand, so it is what it is. So, I love the birds. The birds are just like chilling. That one's birds over there kicking it. That one's over there kicking it. They're kind of looking at, communicating to each other some way. This one on here is just kind of humble. This one over here just kind of spread eagle like what's up. So when you look down here, this one is looking at that one, and that one is looking at that one. Obviously, this one's just feeling wonderful, and this one over here is just awesome. This one's cruising, and this one over here is a quiet one. Everything's bleeding, sort of, kind of melting. This isn't my bed, so this is like kind of next to my bed. This um, painting, I will never get rid of this painting. This is what started all of my paintings, basically. All of my real paintings. Um, I call this one a Costa Rican tree. So, um, it's, it's a beautiful tree. I love it. It's one of my favorite trees I've ever done. It's my favorite tree I've ever done. I don't think I can ever duplicate it or replicate it unless I just copy it obviously but I don't do that shit um it's beautiful I, I love the fucking tree I like how everything just kinda is like I don't know how to explain it. just the way it is um I like how the the trunk is just you don't have a solid trunk to it to to branch out it's it's kinda branched on by two huge sort of sprigs or things and there it is I will never get rid of that. I'll have to try to re-duplicate that because I have two slight um, lines on there that you cannot see, but I'm going to have to put some mark in there because when I try to set this up for some sort of showing, you'll see those markings, those pencil markings. For some reason, I never marked them up. Anyways, uh, try to navigate through here. It's crazy. I want pictures of my son. That's Noah when he was little. Holy cow, look at him. That was through Leslie Faye. I chipped the side of it when I was moving in. Da da da. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to navigate through my fucking room here. This is crazy. This is the one that I did a little while ago. Not too bad. I really like this painting. It's one of my, I, don't know, I guess I can say everything's one of my favorites, but it's one of the ones I started like doing. I like to do black and white. Why do I like to do black and white? It's because I think it's, it has to do with this picture over here that's black and white, and I really like it. Um, 
Stacy's grandma always told me that she loved this painting. And this picture, it's actually inked. She absolutely loved this picture. Every time she came over for a family event, she said, I really like that picture. She's, it was crazy. She's like 63 or 64. It, out of all my pictures in the house, she loved that picture. Cool. I'm fucking happy about that because it's one of my favorites. So, here's the other one that I just finished. So when you get close, this one I used nothing but a palette knife. Actually, I think the other one I just did pretty much almost nothing but a palette knife. So when you get close to it, you can see pretty good texture. I mean, look at this right here. It's really thick on there. actually a pretty cool painting. I like it. It's one of my favorites. Again, I say it's one of my favorites, but whatever. I got a couple other pictures in there. I don't know, I guess. I'm just doing a fucking run through of my house, so. I'll go in here and